Hi, my name is Srikanth and with me today is Naveen Kabra and uh, we are here to explore some uh, principles of life. So, Naveen, what do you have for us today? So, Srikanth, today I want to talk about something called Goodhart's Law, okay. which talks about how when you are measuring something, hmm. uh, I mean, usually that's a good thing, having data to make decisions. Yeah. But sometimes it can go horribly wrong. Okay. Right? So, let me start with an example. Huh. Uh, during the times of the British Raj in India, hmm. in Delhi, hmm. there was a problem of too many cobras. Hmm. So, what the British did hmm. was they gave an incentive hmm. For uh, uh, people, if they bring in a dead cobra, huh. you get a uh, incentive. You get actual money. Okay. Right? So, so they were measuring actual dead cobras. So hmm. the way to reduce cobras, they decided was to was find to, dead cobras. Was to measure a dead yeah. cobras and then pay for it. Correct. Right? Makes so sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Now the problem is that when you are measuring something like this. Hmm. What happens is that the, there is a real life thing, which is the actual cobras which are causing problems. Mm. And then there is this measurement in a spreadsheet somewhere. Mm. And the measurement becomes the primary target. Right. Ah, so okay. what these people started doing, huh. uh, I mean, initially a whole bunch of people killed cobras, brought it, took Correct. money. Then some people realized huh. that they can make money this way. So they started breeding cobras oh. and bringing those cobras that they bred to make money. So the measurement became the target instead. Exactly. Okay. Right. Okay. And people started focusing on the measurement rather than the real problem. Right? I can see how that could be a problem uh, in, in real life, in, in the current world scenarios as well. For example, yeah. uh, in, in job appraisals, maybe. Am I right? All, all kinds of problems. So okay. we'll take a bunch of examples, hmm. but let me finish uh, this example because hmm. it gets even worse. Oh, right? it does. Oh, because what happened was that quickly the British realized huh. that this is not working the way they intended. Because right? people are trying to game the system right. and, and breed and, cobras. And they're creating cobras yeah. to do this. So they cancelled the program. Okay. And what and happens to the cobras that were already bred at that point? the people just released them. So this program ended up increasing the number of cobras. Okay. <laughs> right? That is terrifying and that is scary. Not just because I am terrified of snakes, but imagine cobras being released in the wild, yes. which were not supposed to be there in the first place. So the, uh, I mean, the reason you should really be terrified, this is still, you know, like a really old example, huh? maybe even apocryphal, huh? but huh? Uh, there is a page on Wikipedia called the Cobra Effect, huh. which gives a very long list of examples like this, where in real life it has caused problems. So, for example, okay. uh, Canadian system, right? Huh. The healthcare system is uh, nationalized. Huh. Uh, they were paying incentives to orphanages to take care of orphans, right? So okay. you got about a half a dollar per month per orphan, okay. but the Don't second, tell me this created more orphans. No, no, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's not that bad. bad. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but it's still bad, right? Yeah. Um, psychiatric hospitals huh. were paid two and a half dollars per mental patient. So more than 20,000 orphans got put in psychiatric hospitals and labeled as mental patients just so that people could earn money on them. Okay. Am I, am I, am I bad for thinking that it is better to have more mental patients <laughs> than orphans? I'm really sorry I'm thinking this way, but that's the first yeah. thought that came to no. mind. But anyway, anyway, coming, coming back to the, uh, the concept of Goodhart's law that yeah. we were discussing. And yeah. of course, we'll put the link in the description for you to check out the Cobra effect. It's on mm -hmm. Wikipedia. So if you do a quick yeah. search, you'll find it. But coming yeah. back to Goodhart's law, um, how does Goodhart's law apply on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah. So, um, the thing is that um, everywhere, uh -huh. right, from education where uh -huh. you are, uh, you know, everything is based on marks, uh -huh. from uh, entrances to colleges where it is all based on an entrance exam, uh -huh. to um, uh, companies where it is either uh, your, KPIs. your appraisals, KPIs, etc. Yeah. Uh, right? Everything. Uh, I mean, earlier it used to be just if your boss thinks you're doing a good job, you, you would get, get it. But now suddenly we are in the age of data and everything is supposed to be data driven, yeah. which is a good thing usually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It reduces subjectivity, yeah. but often it can be a problem. So another example from real life hmm. is that 
to reduce bugs in software hmm. you give an incentive to software programmers <laughs> to per bug fixed yeah i can see how that can go wrong pretty quickly <laughs> because <laughs> there is any is the joke among software developer circles that you solve one bug and create four yeah so no yeah. i mean actually there is a dilbert where wally is saying oh i just you know uh created uh, wrote uh, this for myself right so just yeah, add bugs yeah so, yeah right so this is a problem everywhere hmm. and you have to be careful all right so um this this basically reminds me of uh, something i heard as a student in college there are three kinds of lies yeah. there are lies there hmm. are damned lies and sorry hmm. for my uh, language there hmm. and then there is statistics hmm. so uh, does goodhart's law then Uh, say that statistics is the cause of everything that is problematic in terms of evaluating with data well not exactly right i mean okay. uh, you might get the impression that i am saying stop using uh, statistics and data for ha. things like that ha. but what goodhart's law says hmm. is that when a measure becomes a target hmm. that's when it ceases to be a good measure right so you okay. have to prevent it from becoming a target acha okay? acha um, otherwise having data hmm. is a good thing hmm. uh, so what you have to do is be careful hmm. of how you are uh, using your measures example uh, yeah so um, one example is that a company does not want fraud right a right. credit card company All or companies don't like want that, fraud right? yeah. so customer service hmm. is given incentive to weed out the frauds hmm. and uh, only have good customers right, right? now according to goodhart's law what is likely to happen uh, uh, what no so what happens uh, actually huh. is that the customer service people start treating each and every customer as if they are a criminal ah, right yeah. now this is you know thoda and if so it's not bit, it's not me when i call into the customer service <laughs> hotline and yeah. it's not me who gets treated like a criminal all the time it's yeah. everybody right <laughs> yes uh, yeah hopefully <laughs> but Uh, so uh, here is the thing huh. as in if they are going to treat everybody like criminal they will of course weed out the real criminals but huh. they will also weed out a lot of real customers right? and yeah yeah and so uh, keith rabo who hmm. is uh, keith uh, rabo raboys i don't know the pronunciation ha, what's ba- okay okay keith raboys rabo yeah. so uh, he's a I'm famous sure entrepreneur either. in the us huh. he has a very good rule for this he says that you should do measurements ha huh. but have an opposite measurement also for every measure to prevent it from being misused okay, okay give so me the example in, in terms of this credit card thing uh, so if you are treating every customer as a potential fraudster huh. what is going to, so that is going to cause this good measure to improve huh. what measure goes down because of this customer satisfaction correct so now measure both measure number of frauds measure customer satisfaction and make sure this goes down without causing this to go down ah, right this is called not. paired indicator so if you search on google for paired indicators you will find a bunch of uh, examples and how to hmm. do it no no we will put in a lot of these resources that we are discussing in the descriptions as well so you can check the descriptions for more information on those but while you were saying this i realized there is an argument to be made for not measuring anything at all because if measures are going to cause problems yeah why measure them at all why not why not just go by gut instinct i guess no so uh, usually our gut instinct can be very wrong we have all ah. kinds of biases we have all kinds of ambiguities and uh, we tend to be over confident right mm. this is something we will cover in a lot of our future uh, ah, episodes yes. mm. uh, but the important thing is that in general the switch from instinctive decision making to data driven decision making has been by and large good okay you just don't want to overdo it right so what today's episode should be telling you mm. about this mm. is that use data but don't make the data the only source of the decision right have mm. have humans looking at the data have humans who are experienced they should be allowed to override the data hmm. now that i think about it there are many real world scenarios where this has the potential to go horribly and possibly comically wrong yeah right yeah like uh, i mean the biggest real world scenario huh. is the vietnam war 
where uh, robert okay. mcnamara the uh, i think he was the secretary of defense at that time ha he said i am going to take all decisions in a data driven manner okay. so everything about the vietnam war ha. was based on data data right. comes in and then uh, people who have no experience with actual war ha. are taking decisions purely based on the data ha. and that's why us did so badly in the war okay, okay. in fact it is such a bad example uh, and lots of people are dead because of that hmm. it's has a name yeah. of for itself it's called mcnamara's fallacy Ooh. which is over reliance on data hmm. without relying on human experts all right we'll of course put that link in the description as well but uh, how about how about uh, how about in business uh, does it does uh, good hearts law appear in in business scenarios as well of course business scenarios uh, all the time right okay. uh, i mean you put sales target Mm. and people uh, do various things for sales mm. uh, i mean I, i just thought of a f- very fun example it's not directly business but mm. you can imagine how it will come in business right yeah. uh, there was a famous archaeologist mm. and he was uh, looking for hominid skulls mm. and the local javanese people mm. he gave them incentive uh, for every piece of hominid skull that they found uh, he would pay them money right you can't even imagine Don't. how this is going to go wrong I can I think I can imagine because when they wanted cobras they <laughs> killed cobras now no, they no, want hominid no, skulls no but hominid skulls are like it has to be you know 70000 oh, yeah. years old and all that uh ah. what they did he was paying them per piece ah. so they took full skulls and broke them into little pieces right? ah. so can you imagine was... in business you have one of your incentives is you know number of customers number of sign ups or something like that hmm. and a sales person has a bad incentive you can imagine how they can start doing funny things with such yeah data, right? in fact i think i may have come across some of these people myself yes. in uh, previous uh, <laughs> jobs let's let's not go there because yes. they'll probably be watching this <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah uh, and i i think i have uh, seen a couple of chain stores also doing this like fast food chain stores yeah. doing something like this although yeah. i'm i'm trying to reconcile this mm. uh right any other uh, salient point significant points that you want to mention about the goodhart's law today? no i think i just want to repeat the main fundamental thing which mm. is that yes data is a good thing mm. do not give up on data mm. but make sure that it doesn't become a target All right. right make sure that that is not the only thing that the decision is based on so either used pair indicators so pair it with an opposite hmm. to make sure that it's not being gamed or put humans uh, on top of it so that the final decision is by an expert who understands the full context usually right. the problem is that the data doesn't understand the full context and that's a good note to end this video on data doesn't understand the full context if you want the full context check the description i'm shrikant this is navin and this was future iq thank you